Hey there, it's Ryan and Elena again, and this video is gonna walk you through our process of installing our septic system, which is one of the first big steps when you're on your property. We're kind of in that stage where everything is all the underground, boring stuff that you never see again, but mm -hmm. is very, very important because if we mess up these steps, it's going to be very bad. So here is us installing our septic system. We got the um, septic elevation lines laid out. What I've done is just kind of flagged where each leech line could go and kind of kept it level. Uh, if you notice, we have to um, dig them on a, on a contour according to the hillside, according to the elevation of the hill, um, to attempt to try to keep these things level is what that's for. So each leech line kind of bows around the hill um, as it goes down and down and down. Um, again, hopefully this is a little bit overkill um, I'm just trying to get really prepared for when we do have the machine. Everything is planned out, thought about, and literally we can just use the machine for what it's there for and we don't have to problem solve and run math uh, while we're running the machine because it's not, not cheap. Me and Ryan are out here. We're trying our very best to finish up some of our septic setup. We've got some lines run. We've got to finish up getting some lines all the way down there to the end. And then hopefully we will be all ready for the inspector to come.
so what we have is we have a four inch pipe coming from our foundation, which are coming from toilets, showers, sinks, things like that. Um, so you have a four inch pipe coming out the house, just one main one, and it feeds into this. This is kind of the main workhorse. The septic tank is just your standard traditional two compartment tank. Um, so all everything that goes through your drains comes in a four inch pipe and actually um, gets trapped in this first tank and there's just a little bit of a wall separator so that it separates the things that sink from the things that float and it kind of just lets only the liquid flow through. So uh, everything gathers in this first tank and then it, it transfers over that, again, the little gap in the wall into a second compartment. And it does the same thing and so, and then it leaves the, this side with a three inch pipe. So by then, the hope is that it's all just liquid flowing there. Um, that it's been treated per se. It's a thousand gallon tank. It's got two access panels, one right here, and then uh, a vent right here, and then another access panel right here. Uh, this will be backfilled and covered up so you won't see it. You, we might leave this exposed, um, that green hatch. Um, and then from there it goes on to the leach fields. All right, so from the septic tank, um, the treated liquid comes on this pipe, and it comes to this distribution box. Um, so what the idea of this box is that it distributes the main line into five other lines equally. So the same amount of liquid is flowing to these five lines, kind of like a junction box. And then each line goes to essentially a, um, a septic field line is what they call. Um, and the field line, all it is is a large diameter pipe with holes poked through it every probably six inches for like 60 feet. So there's a 60 foot run, the next 60 foot run, 60 foot run, so on and so forth. septic work to work so actually there's a lot of different types of septic systems out there and depending on where you live a lot of different regulations um, so the very first thing we had to do was get uh, someone from the county out here and do a little soil test and um, they give you like a rating of how fast liquid will will saturate the soil or, or something like that I called it I heard it called a perk test perk test maybe I, I don't know um, and then he bases the permit off that perk test, and so he gives us certain parameters. So you got to have this many gallons in your tank, and you have to have this um, many linear feet of leach field, drain field. Um, your uh, your ditches have to be so deep, so wide, blah 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 blah. But they pretty much lay it out on the permit um, of what they want you to do, which is kind of cool. They kind of give you some instructions. So one of the things was we had to have a thousand gallon tank. They based that off our floor plan, how many bedrooms and um, bathrooms we had it was a thousand gallon. Um, and we could do concrete or um, a plastic tank. Uh, we went with concrete um, and it was just a standard two compartment tank um, or traditional, should I say. Uh, and then we had to have 330 feet of uh, drain fields. Uh, and again, the drain fields had to be um, level, obviously, level, and they had to be so deep, so wide. Um, and they gave us a few different options for um, what type of drain lines we wanted. So we started calling around um, different septic companies and seeing what they had to offer and, and how much 
the product was and whatnot. So I've got a nice big um, concrete septic tank and they supplied us with large diameter um, drain lines for the drain field. And then we went with a distribution box um, type system, which uh, at the time I only th I thought that was the only way to go. And later we found out that there's a there was an easier way to to do it. But I already had my my ditches dug for the distribution style. It's really important to make sure the drain fields are level um, because what you want is however you're distribution distributing the liquid. Um, you want all to be distributed even, evenly and it all needs to drain into the drain fields evenly. So that's why it's very important because if one is not level and it's going downhill then that means you might have one drain line draining more uh, than your other drain lines which could cause problems, backups, and um, just a whole lot of problems. So that's why it's really important to make sure your drain fields are level. Um, so again, everything's being divided and um, distributing uh, evenly. Uh, so yeah, make sure they're level. After we did all of that, and keep in mind, we are talking about this, we did all these things ourselves, except obviously the septic tank was delivered, you saw that. Um, so we had a company that we bought all the septic equipment from, essentially bought the system from them, but we did the install ourselves. So we did all this with, you know, just going off of the instructions from the inspector. So he came back out and he did check the level on everything. He wasn't super, you know, super, super detailed, but he was checking everything. Um, the only thing he said was I just... just got a tick in my leg, crawling on my leg, so watch yourself. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Um, the only thing he said was to be careful with the distribution box. He said sometimes those do have problems that they see um, because we did that rather than, I think, what they call just kind of a snake motion, which, again, we didn't know was possible until after we had the excavator to dig those trenches. Um, but he said it should be fine because we have a very, uh, just kind of modern, uh, septic tank that he thinks usually flows really good, breaks everything down, but he did recommend that we have it, what do they call it, flushed out, cleaned out, maybe mm -hmm. once a year. But he said just maintenance it and be very careful about what you put in it, which is generally what they say with all septic systems is you just have to be careful about what you're throwing down the commode. So he came out, but he did give us the okay on everything. The guy did tell me that dropped the septic tank off that they see whatever they pull out of your <laughs> whatever they pull out of your tank. So if you have, if you have something that's not going to break down in your septic system that's got to get sucked out, nope. well, they suck it out in a truck and they take it back to their factory and they have to screen it all. And so they see screen it. Yeah, they what can't are they screening it for stuff that's not going to biodegrade. They're not gonna just put it in their tanks to so, just sit there and clog up their tanks. So they gotta filter out what the bad stuff is so, and get rid of it properly. So it's like a plastic toy or other stuff. I think you got a quote, right, for the system and an install about six thousand, mm -hmm. right? We probably paid about three thousand total for parts mm -hmm. and for using the excavator, which we use for other things. Right. Does that sound right? All right. So about half. So was it worth it to save the three? Was it too much hassle? Or if no, you I had mean, to do it again, would you do it again? No, I think it was worth it. It was an easy, I mean, once you get your, your mind wrapped around what you're doing and um, you talk to the septic people, uh, you, you, you have a clear permit in front of you. You talk to the company supplying the parts. Um, I was very comfortable. And, it, and again, if you got an excavator and you know, a little bobcat to backfill it, it figure out what your county requirements are for us in tennessee we have state requirements for electric and then county requirements for septic and that's about it yeah. so yeah. always and, know that ahead of time and two if you're um if you're not living on your property you don't actually have to do your septic first that is not a really a high priority on your build list um it was for us because we're living out here and well we're using the bathroom out here so um and even some counties, like, you have to do everything else first. Like, you have to build a house, run, get uh, your plumbing inspected, and then you have to do mm -hmm. um, the septic at the very end, mm -hmm. uh, just according to the county's order yeah. of operations. So. And the septic inspector told me that there are some areas around this where you the electric, once the septic approved, before they will hook up the electric. I'm not sure why, but he acted like that's... A common thing too that he runs into that people are rushing trying to get their septic 
approval from him because they can't do their electric mm -hmm. yet. So again, very different things. Yeah. You just really have to make sure you know what your county wants. Okay. And there's some cows mooing, so it must be time to go home. It's dinner time. All right, well, that was our septic install. That was a big project for us. Again, you'll never see it, but we're gonna be very glad that it's there, very working properly. Yeah. Um, overall, worth it to do it ourselves, to save the money. So, if you wanna try it, go for it. Yeah.